Hi guys, it's me, Winifred, and I am back with this week's makeup basket. Now, I think Valentine's Day is next week, so what I figured I would do, guys, is just do it for two weeks for um, this basket. This will be my last two-week uh, period. I'll do it for two weeks and what I am going to do in these next two weeks are just going to be creating looks using um, our love colors. Uh, so reds, pinks, fuchsia, magenta, a little bit of purple probably, you know, just all of the lovely red colors and anything that's in my makeup arsenal. It's fair game. I think I pulled out not every, well I didn't pull out any red lipsticks at all, but I am. Noted that I will be using um, red MAC lipsticks too, so your usual suspects. I'll probably use Rocker, um, maybe Diva. That might be a little bit too dark. I want to kind of keep it light and bright and airy. Um, I might use Lady Danger. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Russian red, whatever colors I come up with. But I'm just going to show you right now the colors that I pulled out. And I want to start, I think I want to start with the eyeshadows. So I have a, um, a pink MAC palette, just all pinks and, um, you know, like a few cranberry purpley shades. I really like this color here. Beauty Marked is a really nice, deep, deep color. Um, I'll be using that palette for the eyes. And then from this palette, guys, that I just made, it's actually not even full, but I have these two matte colors that I'm going to use. Not sure what it is. I'll make sure to... Um, when I do use it to include it in the description bar and this one as well. Then I also have a Max Purple palette. I'll be jumping into that. So we have a variety of colors here. We have um, Beautiful Iris, Digit, um, 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 Fig One, just a, a plethora of purpley like shades. Then, guys, from my NARS collection, remember I was telling you that I had depotted most of my NARS singles. Um, I am going to be using, there's three colors in here. Nepal. Nepal is a, just like a staple. I've hit pan on it. This is like probably my second one. I've hit pan on it. This goes with every skin tone. I love this, guys. Um, and then I've got Phantom over here. That's a, a really bright pink with a little bit of sparkle in it. And then there is, I don't remember what color this one is. I don't remember what color pink one that is. But then I have this one right here, this discontinued, and that is called New York, New York. It's kind of like, it's a matte. It's kind of like a purpley burgundy shade. And guys, I pulled out like tons of lippies. First that I want to talk about, I've got this, you know, I've got this MAC palette with all of these pretty pinks in here. It's Candy Yum Yum, there's Up the Amp, there's Please Me, there's Prevet. Um, just all kind of pinks in there that I'm going to mix. Then guys, I pulled out... My lip tars in various shades. You know, I, I was kind of flirting with the idea of having a lip tar Tuesday because I really haven't gotten the use out of these that I wanted to. So these are all like my fuchsia and pinks and just different colors of that. Then I bought out my Giorgio Armani red gloss. And then this is Fantabulous and MAC Dazzle Glass. And this is uh, Viva Glam um, Rihanna Sparkly Gloss. And I also have the lipstick. I'll be pulling that out. Then I have a couple of um, Dior Lip Plastics. Guys, 
This formula is the best. I mean, they need to come back out with this. This is like a reddish color and this is like a plummy color. And I'm gonna give you a swatch real quick. And see how, how nice that goes on? Ugh. This is what a gloss slash lipstick should look like. This one is kind of like a um, nice plummy purpley shade. It's a little, well, it is deeper. It's like a wine shade. Um, then I've got a couple of NYX ones. I got a red one and kind of like a pinky color. Then I've got a Sephora, real pretty pale pink gloss with um, pretty shimmers all through it. I haven't even opened this one up yet, guys. And then I have a Juicy Tube from Lancome. And then this pretty um, Bite Cosmetics. This is like a a real pretty violet color. I mixed this with something a couple of weeks ago. But there's a swatch of that. And this is uh, uh, Bites Grape. Really pretty. And I have some NYX liners, lip liners. A couple of them. One a paler pink. One more like a hot pink kind of like of sorts and then I've got this red one from Mac I believe this one is cherry it's kind of like a blue red and then I've got magenta from Mac and then this one is half half red half red it's kind of like a red but with a little dusty tone to it okay so let me let me move to the pigments because I think I'm going to be making some lip colors out of this. Um, this one is called uh, Brash and Bold. It's a pretty pigment color. It's like a fuchsia color, guys. I've been dying to make like a um, a lippy with this. I think that this would just make a beautiful lippy, or either mix it with some other lippies that I have that's bold and brash then I doubt if I use this but this is like a pink glitter from Mac then I also have this milk pigment from Mac and that's like a lilac color why they called it milk I don't know guys but look at that and it's, and it's like a real frosty shade but it has a little bit of silver particles through there really pretty and then I have this purple kind of like a glitter but you know what guys I also have a red glitter so you know I'm gonna probably pull that out and if I do use that it definitely won't be on my eyes it'll be like on my lips or something like that and let's just well one more eye thing okay I have yet to use this guys this is hips um Hips, what do you call this? Like paint pot, kind of like an eggplant. It's a pretty purpley shade. I'm gonna see what I can do. As you can see, I didn't, I haven't even used this one yet, guys. Haven't used it. Make sure that it's not dried out, and it's not. Ooh, it's pretty too. So I'm going to be using that. And guys, another thing. Now you know I haven't been using my La Femme palette for a while, but. I am going to go back to that this for the next couple of weeks because where can I get all of these pinky purpley shades in one in one palette? I'll be using that this week. Needless to say, probably this whole bottom, <laughs> this whole bottom row. Then I have this other, it was a limited edition, and it's called uh, Vintage Grape. You see it's kind of ombre from dark to light using that. And I have two nail polishes, guys, that I, I'm going to try to use. And you can see I cut my nails off. And this time I cut them all off. And they hadn't even started breaking. But I have a few things that I wanted to do and the nails were going to get in the way. So I cut them all off. <laughs> so I'll be using, and I say that to say, I'll be using light colors. And um, this is 210 Shall We Dance. It's a really nice 
light, barely there, kind of a pink color. And uh, again, this is from Sally Hansen. I really like the brushes on these. And then I've got this Marc Jacobs one, guys. And this is, I believe, fluorescent beige. You can kind of see the pink, red hue to it. I think that that would be pretty cool. And guys, that is it to start out with. But there's a couple of other things that I don't have included in this that I know that I want to use. Like I said, the red lipsticks I want to use. And then I also had an eyeshadow from MAC that had red, silver, and black in it. I want to use that. I really want to use that red because, gosh, it's such a pretty red, but I don't wear it on a regular occasion. I mean, red eyeshadow. Mm. Um, yeah, oh! I know what I want to show you. These are those MAC eyelashes that I was going to put on in the last video, but decided not to. I figured that I might wear them um, on the upcoming video. Yeah, these are number threes, I think. And yeah, they're different from my usual Ardell Wispies. But you know what? I guess I need to try something else, and especially if I have them. Why not? So I'm going to be playing in these. And yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, I'm just remembering all this fun stuff. Um, I got this today. I was out of, I know I'm going to know why, but I am out of my dual eye, um, eyelash adhesive. So I bought this one, the dual one. And this is the brush on one. So you brush it on the band and um, then you adhere it to your uh, eyelash. Now, I've never used this one, guys. I've never used this one. So if any of you have used it, let me know. Comment below, let me know. And one, right off, one of the things that I think would be kind of cool about this is that you won't be, you wasting, won't be wasting as much product because you're just putting it on the band as you need it. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, now... The downside to it is that it may not, well, it's not as hygienic because, and I say that because if you use your eyelashes over and over and over again, then you'll be like dipping that brush in and running it across the eyelash unless, you know, you sterilize it real quick, but you know, you want to probably make sure that you're only using this on yourself. So, um, that's the only downside about that. But, you know, other than this, other than that, <laughs> I meant to say, I think that this should be a pretty good product. Um, I don't think I'll be wasting as much, not nearly as much, because I used to squeeze it out a little bit and then run it across the strip. But then I end up sometimes wasting the product, guys. So, hopefully, this will rectify that so that is my makeup basket for two weeks I know last week I said I was only gonna do the one week I was going back to one week but then I got to thinking today is that one week is not a good is not enough for Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day is next week so I want to do a variety of looks guys I want to do some for work I want to do some for date night yeah, so it should be really fun. I'm excited about it. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. So, I will be talking to you in the next video. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you have the time, guys, don't forget to check me out on um, Pinterest. I'm loving that. I'm like addicted to it. I mean, yeah, let me know if you are on Pinterest too, because if you are, and if I watch you, then I'm already going to jump on your Pinterest site, but, um, or if I'm subscribed to you, then I'm already going to jump on your Pinterest site if you're, if you have it, but it's so much fun. It's like digital scrapbooking, guys. It's so much fun. And, um, you get a chance to conversate with other people like all over the world. I love it. It's fun. Okay. I won't go off on the tangent with that, but Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, and I'm getting my Facebook up and getting that together. So, guys, 
Be sure to follow me on those. And yeah, thanks for watching. And have a nice night. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.